My name's Kelvin, I'm the, the head scenic artist um, at Scottish Opera and this is the this is the paint workshop we're in. Uh, that is absolutely filthy and uh, in a terrible state just now that we're very busy. Um, an unusual space, shall we say. We have an area to mix paint. We have a 20 metre by 20 metre paint floor and we have a, a, an occasional paint frame. That's the backdrop to uh, Don Pasquale. Uh, it goes behind the building that um, the action takes place on and it's uh, 9, 10 metres high and about 18, oh no, 15, 15 wide. We've got charcoal on a stick, uh, on a rather strange stretchy cloth with no seams. And I've got a very, very heavy ruler, it's extra long and very, very heavy. It doesn't move about. Hello, I'm Renaud Doucet, I'm the stage director for this production and uh, working with André Barbe, the set and costume designer. So we realized that they had many strengths here at, at uh, Scottish Opera in costumes and many things, but one of the biggest strengths was the scenic painting. So when we did this production, we said, oh, we need to use the talent of Kelvin because he's so wonderful. So we came up with the idea of having a backdrop that was going to be painted, but this backdrop needs to be at some point translucent so we can have evening scenes. Some of the windows will be seen as glowing in the night and the sky needs to remain translucent so we can give it a, a night feeling to it. Uh, with this particular cloth we've had to, we've had to draw out before we, so we can separate areas that need dyed, areas that need painted. In this case, because it's a there's a perspective involved, we have to have that fairly correct, other, other, otherwise it's going to look odd. So we have to be fairly precise in our uh, initial drawing and to re-establish that between the layers of paint, which is, which is quite a laborious kind of thing. It means inking in, painting over, inking in. There's a repetitive process to it, you know, but, but it slowly inches its way al along. Well, I'm, I'm using a, a curious coating that's um, applied to polystyrene because it's, an, it's, it's got a flexibility that um, a lot of paints don't have. It's also going to stop the light coming through. Unfortunately, this artwork is, this art is disappearing because a lot of people th say, well, let's print things, but printing doesn't give you that. Even if you enlarge things, you will still see the pixels. And also you don't have the same color, you don't have the same pigment, so it doesn't react well to the light. It doesn't, you know, it's like fake is fake. And you know that by using his talent that you, you ask him to go there and he will go there because he's so knowledgeable, he has so much experience. This is a professional. And it's a pleasure to go in his workshop and see him stretch those huge canvases and put on classical music and immerse himself into this atmosphere, which is great. I just want to spend my days looking at him. When we've finished, it'll be, it'll be hung in the theater. Any notes that need to be done, like um, strengthening up dyes or, 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 you know, shading down areas, uh, for lighting purposes will, will be done then and after that it'll tour with the show. Finished. My name's Ben, I'm Chief Stage Technician. We're hanging the back cloth for Don Pascali. As normal we set from the centre line and we work our way back to this point. As we tie the cloth onto the bar uh, we make sure that there's tension on the cloth and we want to try and make sure that the cloth is positioned on the bar at the same level. OK, on you go. I hope they, um, they have a really good time and um, forget about all the um, artistry, if that's the right word, that goes into it and just enjoy the music and the fun. Thank <laughs> you.